Hi there, we're the Grams, and what is today? Embarkation day. Embarkation Woo! day. We are taking a Disney cruise on the Fantasy, a week-long cruise, and it's a Pixar day at sea. We're leaving our hotel now, heading out to the port. It's about an hour drive, but we are so excited, so we hope you join us on this nautical adventure. Woo! Woo After about an hour ride from our hotel, we have arrived officially at Terminal 8 aboard the Fantasy. Are you guys so excited? Yep. There is the beautiful Fantasy right behind us there. It's massive. I don't know if I've pointed it out. Let me see your shirts, guys. We got matching Disney Cruise shirts. Let me see the back, buddy. As you can see, Grand Ventures on YouTube. Mama had these shirts made. Okay, we have made our way inside. Walking down the line here. There's a lot of excitement in the air. And as we can see, everybody's all smiles. Are you guys excited? We made it here in one piece. Evie Rose, how you doing, baby? Good! No, nobody's excited, right? There's no, no relax. Now that we've actually made it, I'm in full relaxation mode already. So if I fall asleep standing up, I won't, but I feel like it. So this is quite the hotbed of activity, as you can see. Lots and lots of people. We have a 12 o'clock check-in time and it's 12 on the money, so our timing was awesome. Okay, we made it through security in one piece. And we are making our way up here. Wow. A lot of people. I guess this is uh, sold out ship at capacity, so there'll be a lot of people. And from the looks of everybody here, we're not the only people with matching shirts, but it's a cool idea. Hey, we're here in the staging area now. We're group 10, yes. and they're just calling back group one. But this is the Pixar Day at Sea. What character are you most looking forward to? Um, probably all the characters from Toy Story because it's my very favorite. So we actually are going to have breakfast with them. Awesome. Yeah. Holden, what character are you most looking forward to? Probably also the Toy Story characters. I am really excited for them. I even have them as my home screen on my phone right now. So. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> question posed. Favorite character you're looking forward to? That is a tough question. I'm so excited to meet all the characters, um, but I'm most excited to meet all of the princesses, especially Ariel. I don't know if she's on the ship, but we'll see. She may have to swim up and they'll eat her inside. I'm fine with it. I don't know, King Triton, he's kind of a prude, he may not allow it. Yeah. Okay, Everly, what what Pixar character you're most excited to see? I was excited to see all of them, mostly Pluto. Mostly oh, Pluto? Oh, that's I awesome. Like all of them. Maybe not a Pixar character for sure, but I am looking forward to seeing Captain Hook and Peter Pan on Pirate Night. There is a Pirate Night and that's going to be a lot of fun, so. Captain Hook's kind of a, uh, yeah, he's a cool character, so I'm looking forward to him. And also, of course, I do love me some Buzz Lightyear, so hopefully we can see him as well, and he can send me to infinity and beyond. And all around, I got these reader boards. It tells you the different groups that are boarding now, one through seven. We're group 10, so we should be up pretty quick. Okay, they have just called 10, and we're on our way. Look at this, you get to walk through a big Mickey. And we are officially boarding the ship. So um, from the, our check-in was at 12, and from the time we actually checked in and gave them all our documents with some security and got here, it was about 50 minutes. So not too shabby. We'll be getting on the ship in no time, maybe a little bit after one. And we are walking through the big Mickey. This is awesome. Okay, I feel we feel the magic. Here we go. That's a huge ship. Okay, we're leaving dry land. Here we go, guys. Look, we are on the ship. 
Can you see Mickey Mouse? Hi, Mickey. Oh, Guys, family. we made it on the ship. We are here. Yes, we are. Are you guys excited? I can't even describe it. It's, 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 it's beautiful. Oh my God. Hi, Pluto. Hi, Pluto. <laughs> Everly really likes Pluto, and she's waving at him right now. Just waved at her. <laughs> That's so cool. We just left the lobby. We're gonna go get a bite to eat at Cabana's, um, which is their buffet style. Okay, we're gonna get a bite to eat. Um, I need to put the camera down so I can use my hands to get some food, but this place is busy, busy, busy. Hey, and this is embarkation day. Hey, Bottle, I mean, Dada, huh. I want one cookie and one cup of tea and an apple and chicken strips. Some apple and chicken strips, I think we can make that happen. Okay, we've arrived at Cabanas and then they got a cool hand washing station here. It's open water, which is really nice. You can get your hands all clean before eating. Okay, we just hit the Cabanas buffet, which is super busy. This is what we got going on. This is Kara's plate. She's got a variety, a little bit of everything. Looks delicious. I got me some roast beef, some chicken, some fish, a little variety. We got a. Um, She's the only one with something healthy on her plate, which is good. Holden's already put a hurting on his... Uh, pizza, bread, chicken, and cheesecake. And Evie has an apple and a chicken strip, so... I guess she to have a cookie and a cupcake. Wow, she wants a cookie and a cupcake. Oh, I got a little Oreo cheesecake and a couple... I don't know if those are cookies or brownies. But I am starving, so this will definitely hit the spot. Okay, we just finished up eating at Cabana's, and mine was really good. Um, they have quite a selection um, of all sorts of different types of food. The star of the show for me, though, is they had basically a mini version of fish and chips. Um, these breaded, um, I think it was cod, but it was really good. That was my favorite thing. And then as far as dessert go, we tried a couple offerings. Star of the show was a carrot cake. How yeah. was yours? It was delicious. I love all the, the assortment of veggies that they had. They were all like already buttered and flavored and seasoned and all that. So ate a lot of vegetables, asparagus and carrots and really good. Yum, yum, yum. I didn't get too many veggies this round. I had a lot of meat. They had some delicious carving station, um, or a delicious carving station. I had some roast beef, but it was really good. It was pretty busy since we just got here on the ship, but yeah, kiddos had a good meal, so good times here at Cabanas. We're gonna continue on our day. We got many, many more activities. I'm really looking forward to the sail away party. So, and also should give you a room tour of our veranda room. That's gonna yeah. be awesome. Okay, we just finished up with the cabanas, but this is the main deck, and I just wanted to give you a, a view of it. They got a movie playing there. I'm really looking forward. That's the aqueduct slide. It snakes around the ship. Got a lot of different chairs. Got a small, small pool right here. Oh, there's the aqueduct right there. This is beautiful out here. Actually, this middle area is a little smaller than I thought, but still awesome. What's nice too is they also have life vests provided so you don't have to bring one. Okay, and you're able to do a little tour and or preview with like an open house on the Kids Oceaneers Club. So we're gonna go take Everly and take a look at that club. And Haley and Holden, they're going and doing their own thing, which is awesome that they can just kind of spread their wings and do what suits them. So we're gonna check this out with Evie and then continue on the day. Hey, we've made it here to the Oceaneer Club. We're gonna verify all our check-in information. Now if the young kiddos, they get their own magic band and that's how they come and go here. And they're putting a little zip tie on it so she doesn't lose it, which is nice. And right when you walk in here, they have an automatic hand wash station. Look at that, you put your... Does it? She's using the automatic hand wash station. That's awesome. There you go. Look at that. That automatic hand washer is pretty cool. It has a cycle, goes through, puts soap on you. When you're done, you just dry. Pretty neat. So we're going to check out this Ocean Ears Club.
the Oceaneer Club and the lab, awesome. It looks like there's gonna be a ton of activities for Evie to do, all sorts of interactive things, crafts, shows. So yeah, what an awesome thing that you find here on the Disney Cruise and we can safely leave her here and then we, um, there's safeguards in place. Not just anybody can pick your kiddo up. So that's gonna be awesome. So far, we've had some lunch. We were able to see the Oceaneers Club and Lab. Now we're finally making it to our room and we're gonna give you a full tour. But we have a veranda room, so I'm excited. We are here on deck seven. This is where our stateroom is. 7614. This is where we're gonna spend a week. We'll give you a full tour here. Okay, we are entering. This is a veranda stateroom. Look at it. Wow. Okay, well, I'll, I'll start in the far end here. This is really nice. Got this front area, got a little tiny TV, got a big mirror here, which is nice. Looks like we got some USB ports, a couple plugs, some storage under there. Now this, we're a family of five and this is gonna sleep all of us. Looks like we got a queen size bed there. This couch, I'm told, pulls out. And uh, I think there's a bunk up there. And this might also be a bunk. We'll have to show you the finished product when they, when they put it down, but this is really nice. Got some cool theming there on the lights. I wonder if that's supposed to be Castaway Key. Got a cool picture there. Got some hooks here, hang various items. On this side of the bed, might be hard to see up underneath there. We do have a plug. This is actually pretty big, a lot bigger. I've never been on a cruise ship. This is bigger than I pictured. Okay, this is the bathroom. Oh, look at the cruise line towels. Got like, it's like almost like a mini tub and a shower. Got some Disney H2O products, a little tiny sink. Got the mirror. And so there is a separate bathroom or toilet from the shower, which is nice. So somebody could be showering, the other person's using this sink. Some more H2O products. That's really nice. I like the colors and the theming. Got a safe. Lots of storage, lots of closet space. Got some, our 7614 life jackets. On this side, got a little ladder, some more storage. And this is a door for an adjoining room if you have one. Now here's got some lights on so you can see it a little bit better now. But this is nice. This is really nice. Actually, no hyperbole. This may be a little bit bigger than when we stayed at the Caribbean Beach Resort when we went to Disney World a couple years ago. So this is awesome. Let me show you the veranda. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Got a couple chairs. Little table. Mm -hmm. And the view is the front of the port here. Look at that. So the next time we show you this, we'll have some blue ocean underneath us. But this is an awesome room. One thing I didn't show in the initial room tour is they have a mini fridge, which is really nice. So you can bring drinks or what have you back to your room. That's really nice to have. So far, I really like the room. It seems very spacious. It's gonna sleep all of, all of us comfortably. I love having the veranda. I can't wait just to sit out there with a cup of coffee and smell some ocean breeze, so that's awesome. So we're gonna bring everybody else in here. We're gonna get settled in place. Before we continue on with the festivities, I'm really looking forward to the Sail Away party. That's something I really wanna see. And also, I wanna capture the horns. I've always seen the videos on people leaving out of port, but to actually hear the Disney chimes as we leave is gonna be awesome. Okay, we've looked at giving you a room tour. Now the kiddos are gonna come in and see it for the first time. Hello. Hey there. Whoa. What do you think? Wow. This is so cool. Wow, it's much more roomy than I thought. I was wow. saying, I think this is bigger than our Caribbean beach room. I could I be wrong, so. but it oh, does. Yeah, I think it is. It oh seems larger. God. Let me get your reaction. What do you guys think of the room? This is it's awesome. amazing. Yeah. It's like so much more roomy than I thought. Yeah. And the veranda is beautiful. Oh, it's so amazing. This is, this is 
Oh, and like all the storage. Oh, fancy chair. Yeah. This storage oh, is she crazy. Can, she can sit there and pen a letter. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. My okay, I letter. gotta say, my yeah. favorite part is the veranda. I've always thought it was so cool, the people that got a veranda, and now we have one. I know. Um, I can't wait to sit out there and watch the ocean go by. It's amazing. I was going to say, we need, it's to, definitely or worth it. We need like, to order a coffee and sit out there and watch yes, the ocean. And smell we can the even ocean eat breeze. breakfast out there with free room service. Heck so. yeah. Hi guys. So we just got into our room and got a nice look. And now we are going to decorate our door. Yeah. The Disney doors are magnetic. And so you can put decorations on them. And that is what we are going to do. So I think they're metal, but we're putting magnets on there. Oh, yeah. So we got the door decorated. You want to explain it to us, Holden? So basically up here, we've got a bunch of little magnets that go around this little circle thing that is all the different characters poking out. And then we've got the uh, this big magnet for our YouTube channel. And then we've got one for mom's birthday, which is coming up really soon. We're really excited. And then we've got the fish extender for stuff that people will bring us like sweets and other stuff. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the door looks really cool. It's kind of a fun thing people do to kind of make their room both unique and interesting. And yeah, we can showcase our channel and Mama's birthday coming up. So yeah, good job, buddy. Hey, we're out. It's four o'clock and we are doing to do the emergency drill before we set sail. I guess it used to be virtual, now you actually have to be in person, so... Hey, we just did the emergency drill and now we're getting ready for the sail away party. We're out here on the main deck and this is going to be awesome. So we just partook in the sail away party and that was a lot of fun. They had a bunch of characters out on the deck and some dancing and they sounded the horn, which I really wanted to hear on the deck, which was awesome. That was a lot of fun. What'd you think is the sail away party? It was so fun. I had a great time dancing and enjoying all the characters were out. Really cool. Nice. Now we're not quite moving. I'm, I'm assuming we're moving pretty quick here. Let me adjust my exposure there. 
So we're gonna be heading out pretty quick. We're up here on the topmost deck. As you can see, I got some glass in front of us. Okay, we have officially set sail. <laughs> we are moving. It's about 5.15 right now. So, as we can see down below, we, we are moving. Woohoo! Okay, I haven't had one yet, but something I've been looking forward to is they have unlimited soft serve. You can come and get yourself a cone and then hook up some ice cream. Looks like we got vanilla, vanilla chocolate swirl, and just good old chocolate. I already licked the top because it was dripping, but that's a soft serve. Delicious. Got the chocolate vanilla swirl. And the girls got some soft serve as well. We're eating a little soft serve as we watch the boat go away. This is my third soft serve. Cheers. Soft serve, cheers. <laughs> soft serve, cheers. cheers. Okay, and Evie is dressed up for pajama night. We're having a pajama party, so she's heading on in to the Oceaneer Club. Gonna check in. She just scanned in and it made an R2D2 sound. So we just dropped Everly off at the club and I wanted to kind of go over the process of that. Um, basically when you first get here and you show them all your documents, they give her a band. Um, and then when you get to the club for the first time, they'll put like a lock on it. Um, so every time she will scan in and out using her band. Um, it's a really nice process that you have a secret word that you give to them. Um, and every time you pick the, the child up, you tell them the word and they scan in and out. So super easy and she's so excited. I think they're going to have a blast. Okay, big gift shop, Mickey's Main Sale. Let's go see what they got. Some cool merch. Oh, that's so cute. Our little girl's Disney Cruise Line shirt, 25 bucks. Oh, Super Heroes of the Sea. That is, oh, that's an actual cruise shirt. That's awesome. That's like a spirit jersey almost. Yeah, almost. This. Pixar Day at Sea 2023, that's what we got. And I'm always a sucker for a good mug. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Is that a mug? Yeah. It's, oh, it's got a topper. That's so cool. Disney Cruise Line mugs. Oh, here's one specific to the fantasy. It's got Dumbo on it. 20. I really like, they got Sailor, Donald Duck, 16.99. They also got a stitch one. What you got there? Cruise Line specific ears. Oh, those are cute. Disney Cruise Line. Nice. I love now, the colors. Where'd you get those ears from that you're wearing right now? Uh, you know, Disney World. Disney if you World. haven't seen our Disney World vlogs, you should check them out. Yeah. We'll, we'll post a link for you. Now, also in Disney World for mom's birthday, she got a lounge fly that she really likes. And she found a new one here too. She's kind of thinking about it. You know, it is my birthday coming up. Actually, it is your birthday coming up. We <laughs> it might, could be a tradition. Well, you know, we, we, we like getting you what you want, but she really likes this Disney Cruise Line lounge fly. It's like mm -hmm. got a rainbow pattern on it. That's really pretty. Oh, it's even the, the straps are even Yeah. Right I've seen this one before and I really like it, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It might... Your birthday is coming up a couple I days, know. so. Maybe the, the Disney Cruise Line Ferry will drop it off for you. Ooh, wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. So we did get some merch. We're gonna, we'll do a haul at the very end. We ended up getting an ornament and a shirt, but yeah. Cool gift shops where they got some sweet items. Okay, we're here at the D Lounge and we're gonna pre-order bingo cards. And we're gonna play a little bingo before dinner, so. And the theming is on point. We have the Disney D right there. This is the D Lounge. We're gonna be playing some bingo in a minute. Okay, I gotta ask you, do you feel lucky? I'm feeling lucky. Let's like, do this. Heck yeah, let's do some bingo. We got, <laughs> we got all our stuff set up. We got our cards, we got our markers. Now, unfortunately, I never win anything. Like, anything I've ever that entered. That means you're gonna win this time. So, maybe tonight will be the night. Yep, beginner's so, luck. Beginner's luck. And then, with the proceeds, we can go party. Let's do We're it. We're gonna party either way, but we'll still party. <laughs> so, we'll let you know how we do. We're waiting for bingo that starts at 7.30 and we got a couple of virgin pina coladas. And uh, how's your drink? It's so good. Probably the 
best pina colada I've ever had. Delicious. Yeah. Very, very, Highly recommend. Very, very coconutty, delicious. She ate the cherry already. But uh, yeah, yeah. They're really good. So, now we're just enjoying a virgin pina colada while we're waiting for bingo that starts at 7.30 in just a couple minutes. My streak of not winning anything has continued, which is fine. We had a good time anyways playing bingo. So now we're going to head to dinner at Animator's Palette. I'm really looking forward to this restaurant. And plus I'm pretty hungry, so it'll be great. So we just picked Evie up from the Oceaneers Club. And it gets a little chaotic in there, so give yourself a bunch of time. Now we're heading to Animator's Palette. It's going to be a great dinner. But as far as the Oceaneers Club, she was in there for a couple hours. I asked her what her favorite thing was, and she said everything. So that's a good sign. Animator's palette, here we go. I like the decor. Wow, this place is nice. It's huge and it's busy. It's like they beat us to it. They're already here. Now we're here at Animator's palette. We've sat down. Oh, look at the delicious bread. So we're going to show you what they have to offer. I like on the wall there, we did find Crush finally. He's on the wall. And here's the menu, and it's kind of cool. It's, it's Mickey. He moves. Here's a look at the menu. Got all sorts of appetizers, soups and salads, and the main course. So I don't know. I'll tell you what I end up getting, but it all looks good. The core here is really cool. I like that these pillars, they got a paintbrush. And over there in the distance, they got a pencil. Okay, we're in the middle of dinner. We haven't ordered yet, but things are changing. Righteous, righteous, what? <laughs> away from this dude right in front with the gray shell rocking the goggles on the noggin what's going on dude how you dude what's your name hey uh, dude my name's Haley, bro Haley, dude very nice to meet you dude you're totally talking my language already <laughs> Haley, dude that's awesome where are you from dude uh, yeah, uh, I'm just uh, chilling down the sea in Seattle Washington <laughs> Oh, you're from the Seattle, dude. Totally awesome, dude. That's what we long to hear, dude. I'll know exactly where the Seattle is, dude. Okay. It is right in between the Texas and the California. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, totally, dude. In fact, all of you human dudes have been so awesome that I want everyone in the human tank to join my awesome club. If you would like to join the awesome club, let me hear you say, sure. Ah. Excellent. All you gotta do is raise your right fin and repeat after me. I. I. State your name. Hey, state Lee. your name. <laughs> uh, human dudes. <laughs> we totally got some clownfish in the human tank tonight. That's him. Promise to be awesome. Promise to be awesome. All the time. All, All the time. time. And whenever anyone says awesome, and whenever yeah, anyone, anyone says, says awesome, awesome, I will shout, dude! I will shout, dude! dude. Let's draw it out. You dudes are totally awesome! Dude! The ham is our pat appetizer, and it's got some cheese on there. What is this? It looks delicious. I also got a Shirley Temple, which is also really good. So the next thing I'm trying is a baked potato and cheddar cheese soup with bacon bites and chives. Looks pretty darn good. So the Serrano ham appetizer was delicious. I like the Serrano ham. It was really well flavored. I like the cheese as well. It's kind of a nice little starter, not really heavy. And then they give you like a little piece of bread that's got like tomato on it. Both Kara and I got the baked potato, potato, soup. Baked potato soup. And how was it? Um, so it was delicious. Really flavored really well, nice and creamy. So far the food is excellent. My main course has come out. This is a ginger teriyaki dusted Angus beef tenderloin served on wasabi mashed potatoes with bok choy and tamarinade barbecue reduction. So that looks really good. And then Holden got um, any fresh pepper. Holden got some chicken tenders and fries. They also got chicken tenders and fries over here. 
What did you and what did you get? I got the pasta. Well, that looks good. Yeah. Okay, we'll let you know how it is. And this little one, her mac and cheese should be on its way. So I'm protecting my shirt with this. But my dinner was excellent. I had the beef tenderloin. It was really good. A little on the small side. I don't think I'm going to walk away, you know, starving by any means. But it was a pretty small portion, but it was good. Um, had some mashed potatoes and some veggies on there. Um, I like my veggies soft. These were kind of hardish, but eh, minor complaint. But it was really good so far. Excellent experience. And I like all the interactive sort of screens where Crush comes and talks to you which is fun seeing who pops up on your screen. And everybody else seems to be having a good meal, so this is definitely a fun place here at the Animator's Palace. Hey, Holden had some uh, chicken strips, kids' chicken strips. How was it? It was really good, very good. Nice, what did it come with? It came with fries and veggies, and I dipped my fries into some yummy ketchup that was shaped as Mickey Mouse. Nice, how was your pasta? It was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it was um, basically like pasta, in like kind of a meat sauce, pretty good. Uh, the bread was delicious. Would you get it again, the pasta? Uh, I'd probably try something else. Okay, we've already torn into the <laughs> dessert a little bit. That's like some cheesecake. We got a big old sundae over there. Got some various pies. Oh, this raspberry and we're kind stuff. Of sharing a little bit of everything, so we'll let you know how it is. Okay, we put a hurt on this dessert. Pudding I'm not a big fan of. The star in my mind is this lemon pie or cake or whatever it is. The cheesecake was good. Uh, the chocolate thing was okay. Didn't try the sundae. How's the sundae, buddy? It is so good. Really good? Very good. What was your favorite dessert? Um, I kind of like the pudding, actually. I, it's like kind of almost like a rice pudding, which I like, which is weird. A lot of people don't like it, but it tastes good to me. Yeah, we didn't get individual ones. We just got kind of all of them and shared, and that's the way to go. So you get a little taste of each little thing. So we're wrapping up dinner here. We had a great time here at Animator's Palette. Great service, great food. Um, it was a really good time. Plus, I like the atmosphere. We got Can Crush, Crush in the background there, and uh, yeah, this is quite an experience Can and really enjoyable. So we're gonna continue on the night. I don't know what exactly we're gonna do right now, but we're gonna find some more activities until I completely run out of gas. Okay, after dinner we made it back to the room and this is so awesome. We got some sweet dream chocolate and I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. Some sort of animal, but it's a cool design nonetheless. It's really cool the way they folded up the towel and we got the bed set up. It's so nice. Now sometimes the kiddos have trouble when we just got a double bed or a queen size bed in a hotel everybody's got their own space so parents got a bed we got a bunk bed another bunk bed and this hideaway bed over here in the corner so everybody's got their own space so hopefully oh and this is cool look at the top bunk it's like they got a peter pan motif but the kids are doing their own thing right now um there's all sorts of activities even though it's our first day we've just been at sea just a couple hours and uh, we're going to go try to hit the adult only area before midnight where we got to pick. We just dropped Evie off at the kids club. So we're going to go get a little R&R &R before we all come back together tonight. So it'll be great. It's about 1130 at night. We've made our way back to the room. The older two kids are still out gallivanting, doing different stuff, having activities. Um, Karen and I tried to go to the hot tub. We were told it closed at 11 or maybe 12. Turns out it closed at 10. So we went out there in our uh, swimming stuff and we're disappointed. But it is what it is. We'll note it for tomorrow. Um, we had dropped Everly off at the, her Oceaneers Club. She had a fun time there, having to like, a dance party. So we grabbed her, we're back at the room, we're just settling down on our first day, our embarkation day. And we fit a lot in. We saw the animator's palette for dinner, which was really good. I really liked the send off party, which was a lot of fun seeing everybody out there and just kind of getting my bearings on the ship. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big ship and there's a lot of twists and turns, but I think I'm finally kind of getting my navigation as far as where to turn and where to go. So in the elevators and all that. So that's good. I'm sure that'll get better with time. Definitely a fun filled, great day. Got this cool picture behind me, but we're going to turn in for the night, get a lot of good sleep. We have 
the cool character breakfast tomorrow where I guess it's the uh, there's not a lot of information about it but it has to do with Pixar since it's Pixar day see that's again an animators palette for breakfast we're gonna do that first thing and then just see where the day takes us we got some different activities hearted on the app um, that we may want to do throughout the day so we hope you join us for that adventure as well but if you like this content give us a thumbs up that definitely helps the channel also if you're not a subscriber please do and smash that bell that way you can join us on our next adventure thanks for watching Rex is here in jail. You got you can see his tail up there. Now they treating you all right, Rex? I know you're here in jail. Let me just tell you one thing. Do your time. Don't let your time do you.